Hi all, Graham here, and here is the fourth in a series of scenarios taken from this year's UK Grand Melee 2023. I'm playing Rich at Reading Wall Games Club on a Wednesday night. He's uh, one of our best players at our club, um, and I know he's been well placed in Grand Melee in the past, so he'll be stiff competition and I'll learn loads from him as well, I'm sure. We're playing the scenario Change of Plans. Um, I've played it once before and it's a scenario that um, constantly changes. So first three turns, you score points from Massacre, four and five, uh, Survival and six, Conquest. So it changes, definitely in phases. And I'm sticking with Macedonians and the my build that I've used pretty well steadily through this. He's using the Carolingians, which are, I know, super powerful and very popular in tournaments at the moment. And he's using the Morulingian variant. I've never seen it before, so I'm not sure what to expect. Here's his build. Looks interesting, quite shooty as well, I think. Anyway, onto the game. Um, here's the terrain. He's obviously set Carolingians in the, in the, away from the camera, and the nearest is the Macedonians. Should be an interesting game. As always, if you see anything we do wrong, or please point it out. I'm not precious about it. I, I do make mistakes and I try to point them out at the end of the game, but I can never catch them all. Fun game, interesting game, challenging game. So um, let's see what happens. Right, quick sound check. Can you hear me? I can, yeah. <laughs> Just watching the bar. <laughs> bar go up and down. Um, um, so a friend of mine, a friend of mine um, uh, worked at a sewage works. Oh yeah. What was? Oh yeah, he resigned recently. Oh yeah, really? Okay, fine. That's nice. The question is, why did he? Resign? Why did he resign, Greg? Because he felt like he was going through the motions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good evening, Richard. Evening, Graham. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. So tonight we're playing um, Change of Plans um, scenario four at my Grand Melee um, trial. See if we can learn some of these and help a few people play. Now, Rich um, has played, participated in Grand Melee many times, and he's probably one of our top players at the club. So no pressure on him if he fails tonight against some <laughs> deuce like me. Some. Well, you've, you've set it up now, Graham, haven't you? I have, yeah. That's, that's a kiss of death, that one. <laughs> yeah, I've got to do it, haven't I? Um, to be honest, I, I think I've only ever played this scenario once before, but I do know that the first player only gets three dice, which is sh shocking. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so you can move forward and then you can pick me off. And I'm kind of not going to do that. So I'm going to keep it nice and simple. My warlord is going to come across here in a manoeuvre. Um, these guys, they, if they choose to shoot at the end, they can get an extra S on their movement, can't they? If, well, if they choose not to shoot, you mean? Yeah. yeah. By if not shooting, their last you get, thing you has go, to be a shot. Yes, but by not shooting, you go an extra S. That's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. So I can go. I choose not to shoot. Yeah. So I'm just going to move to the edge of the terrain like that. Yeah. So it's S plus a little bit. These these guys have got so many things they can do. Mm. I'm still learning about how to use them. I, th I think possibly it was the worst choice I could have ever made. <laughs> um, yeah. Maneuvers? Do I want to do any? Do you know what? It's uh, no point. So this hill here is a, a steep hill, so it's like rough ground, isn't it? Yes. So it's going to give loads and loads of cover. Um, I'm going to pass at that. And just say over to you, Rich. Okay, it's nice and quick. Yep, absolutely. All right, she rolled three common. Oh wow, one on one on common and two rare. Okay, so Rich's first turn. As you can see, he's got the prolium all snacked up, which will be like that for the whole game, no doubt, till turn six. <laughs> That's it. When he burns them all. <laughs> What are you going to do then, mate? Uh, I'm going to start with manoeuvre. Um, move, manoeuvre the half guard around, I think. Oh, round bases, look. Yeah. Saves a lot of problems with the um, turning at the end of the move. 
situation. Well, as, it, as it's happened, yes. Um, I just did it because I thought they looked better. <laughs> so I just wanted them all no, on round bases. But yeah, Maybe. I think it does help. It um, does help with, with that. Some rules. Squeezing through gaps and all sorts of things, doesn't it? Um, okay, he is going to tell them to move into the terrain. Who's that? Some levy. Uh, yes, that's uh, Weir Bay. Okay. Oh, there they are. So what we'll do. Those two great things are they? not great for the camera, are they? Okay. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? Are they shield transfers or are they uh, no, they're, they're embossed? Um, they're embossed. That's nice. Yeah, these are um, Fireforge. Oh. Uh, he will determine himself up behind them. That's a determination move. I will activate our door though. Okay, what does it say? Um, so, choose a number of friendly units equal to or less than your prolium. These units can be activated to move or fire. This does not generate fatigue. Which, are the, which three units will they be? Uh, it's going to be the guys in the wood, yep. the warriors, and these ones. Okay. So, do the easy, do the easy one first? Uh, what, this one? Yeah. Takes all the decision making away, all the umming and ahhing, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, so basically, all we're going to do is move up to the edge of the terrain, stay within it. So I'll get the bonus of cover, plus you'll have to charge S to get me. Uh, you'll have to, yeah, you'll have need two moves to charge me, won't you? Yep, because we're more than S apart. Yeah. So uh, they will then chuck the jabs at the end of the move, which is now. Which is now. Are they all in range? Uh, all bar... No, he's just in as well. So yeah, nine. So that's rounded up is five shots. They're all in range. Four, three, four. Four. You've got five dice. One, two, three, four, five. You want to use anything to improve it? No, not at this point. I'm going to use... Well, I can't use Imposing Presence because it's an advanced ability. But I can use one of my combat bonuses for defence dice. Uh, I'm going to pass as well. Okay, so I'll use the second one for another defence dice. You've got defence dice anyway. No, it's fine. Okay, I'll pass as well. So I uh, don't think there's lots going to happen on this one. So, uh, fours. Two. Saving on a, because I'm in terrain. Three, four, five, or six. Killed one. One for Merc. Dawn. The other moves from our door are going to be these ones. Should just a stupid question. Yeah. You you should have you didn't need to do your shooting. They should have done all your moves before you come back to that, shouldn't you? Well, you can do it at any point, can't you? But obviously, if I was going to see where you're going to spend your dice, it's in my interest sometimes to. Uh, see what else is there, isn't it? I suppose, I, I, to be honest, I haven't got used to the rule change yet. So I just but you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know it could have done. But it doesn't matter right. because I can see what's happening. So. Yeah, I think, yeah. So you've got fatigue on those? Uh, no, our door's fatigue free. Oh, nice. And this one moves up to the edge there. I think that's me. That's me, so I've got six dice. Yep. Oh, well, hello. Free roll. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, I'm going to not even think about that. Activation pull. That doesn't happen too often. Yeah. Oh, another one. Okay, so I've got two common, two uncommon, and three rare. No orders, no orders reaction. Hmm. Right, okay, well, let's see if we can lure that Domini out of him. So, my levy, you're going to shoot against that unit there. Okay. They're all in? Probably. Sorry? Are they all in range? Probably. Oh, they are. Yeah. Comfortably. You've got an armour of four, haven't you? Mm. I've got six dice. Um, I go first. Let's see if we can get it off. Yeah, combat bonus. Two more. Want to do anything? 
I'm going to have to play defence or I think, with Domine. So I'll give me four defence dice. So Domini's gone, defence has gone. Right. I'll pass then. Oh dear, what a waste. Just the three. <laughs> From three to five. <laughs> so how many did I kill? None. None. Okay, over here, I'm going to activate the Mercs once. They're not within S, coming out. And I'm obviously in shooting at the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to activate them again. They're going to charge you. So they're just in the terrain. Yeah. yeah. Fatigue. Three, I've got an armour of three also. I've got plus one. I've got eight, two, seven. Uh, I've got fatigue. I've, yeah, I've got three. You've got three, haven't you? Yeah. Um, I'm going to spend my combat bonus to give me two more. Uh, I'm going to use your fatigue to bump my armour. Four. That's it. Okay. Three plus one. Ones and twos come out. Fives and sixes. Save two, lose five. the one. Saved it. So I take a fatigue at the end. You get a fatigue and now I'm going to shoot. So I've got, this is the very last thing I'm going to do. You've got an armour of four. I've got, how many in my unit? Uh, seven. seven, so it's four dice. I have fatigue. Do you wish to spend it? I cocked up there actually. No. Because I didn't need to. If you charge, it's only if your enemy's got a fatigue, isn't it? If I had a fatigue, you would have got the extra dice. No, I, I'll rephrase that. If you charge, you can charge with the agrarians if they've got. Oh, for free, yes. So I, I spent a dice for that. <laughs> and that's why I'm not really good at this shit. <laughs> uh, no, I'll leave your fatigue on. Okay. Four's needed. Four hits. Oh, four dead. Is that the unit? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. My warlord's going to move over here to within S of these guys. So they can just get beyond that. Like that. I'm done. Your turn. Two. I'll take the combat bonus, one off the combat bonus, just roll five. Okay. <laughs> what you got? Two uncommon, three common. Okay. No orders, no orders no reaction. Orders. No orders, um, no. What are you going to do? Activate, activate our door first. Probably. Hold on, choose a number of friendly units equal to or one. Certainly that one. Certainly that one. <laughs> um, and I'll go that one as well. Cool, cool. Yeah, first turn blues, I think they call that. <laughs> uh, that's that one. Blues will. And these ones. My eyes aren't that good, Rich. Really. <laughs> uh, right, so that's our door. Our um, door's gone. 
I'm then going to activate the warriors for a charge into the terrain, into your levy. Yep, so yep. we'll go in with a fatigue. You do? Okay. Armour of three, armour of four. How many in your unit? Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Are they warriors? They are, yes. So it's 12 dice. Nice. I get four. No fatigues. You got a fatigue, haven't you? I have got one fatigue, yeah. You got one fatigue. I get plus one because I'm receiving a charge in terrain. Hard going. To your save? No, I get both, don't I? Oh, no. Sh your it's just save. a save. Just a save. Oh, yeah. So yeah. close ranks, yeah. Effectively. Yep. Evening, Chief. You lost yet? Yeah. Nearly. Oh, he's doing well. <laughs> nearly, nearly. He's doing Wayne. well. Wayne's just turned up here. He's uh, come here to Barrack. Well, no, just pop it in to uh, get a preview. <laughs> uh, I'll go first, no. You do. Um, I'm going to play... I'm going to play Vinko to make sure I get two hits. Guarantee two hits? Yeah. So if I put two down there like that... Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to spend nothing, apart from your fatigue. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to spend your fatigue, increase my armour to a four. Um, then going to play Potentia. What does it say? Let me re-roll a number of attack dice, which... Uh, you can re-roll a number of attack dice which didn't score hits equal to twice your prolium. So I can re-roll six. <laughs> re-roll six? Yeah. Wow. Eat. Well, I pass because I have nothing, have I? No. Is that it? Okay, yeah, I'm going to pass after that. Yeah. All right then. Okay, so uh, you re-roll. So I need fours, re-rolled in six of these, but don't get fours. Or up to six. Because if you can do more, you can do less. Shit, look at that. So the, you need them. Yeah. <laughs> So these, uh, yeah, these are... There's one more there. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Didn't, need, didn't need them though. <laughs> it's rubbish. Okay. So I'm saving on a four, five or six. But these two auto hits in with that. Yep. Auto hits are in. So I've lost five. Okay. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Back on you. Four's needed. Two. Lost one. Not bad, is it? So, I lost five. Not quite a dice, though. No. Just need one, uh, two more, don't I? Yes. Come back. Fatigue on me. I got fatigue as well. Fatigue on you. Stand up. Um, right, so, I did move the yard door. Uh, I've got the general to do. He will use his determination to keep up with these guys. So I will give it to you, I think. Bloody hell, Graham. <laughs> You're making up for the rares this game. Yeah, I am, because I never get them normally. <laughs> Right, turn three, and uh, Rich is, uh, he's tempting me here. He's got that defence saw, which will give him four defence dice here, but my half and guard, half guard. Mm. Right, my warlord is going to pad over here, like that. Yeah, like that. Ooh, I've got to move it twice. Can I move that to there to there? <laughs> that was my intent. <laughs> well, are we playing a tournament or are we playing an up? It was up to you, but if, if otherwise I'll stack the board wrong. That was my intent to double move. I know. But <laughs> if you've moved your model. Well, you knew what I was going to do. Up to you, Rich. Roll a four plus. Four plus, you can do it. So basically what happened there was I intended to double move these guys, but I didn't leave a dice on the companions. So 
There we go. That's competition play for you. Hmm. So I'm going to activate two units. One will be to there. One will be these, I should have said, and the other one will be those. To there. The other one will be the creations. Yep. They're going to come out. And I have nothing else. So, yeah, I did cock up there. I could, uh, I can't do anything else. So, I could move my agrarians. Do you wish to slow them down? No. Right, uh, well, I'm leaving the fencer on. I'll just roll four. <laughs> No orders, no orders reaction. Cover your boots. Um, warriors activation with these to move. Well, they're coming out the terrain. Yep. Should, I'm hoping that's in L. Your back rank isn't. No, okay. I'm going to do Ardor. So you activate three units. Yeah. You're free then. Uh, that one. That one. That one. Yep. Uh, do bear shooting first on your uh, phalanx. Okay. So you've got. Uh, be well, four. Four. So yeah. Four in back, range. Back ranks out. Range of four. Does it doesn't generate fatigue or does it? No. No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, anything to pimp it with? No. Nope. I'm going to use imposing presence. But you must discard three dice. It's definitely not going to do anything now. Uh, I'm still not going to do anything. I pass. Nah, fine. Okay. Um, but you don't get fatigue for it. But I don't get fatigue. I suppose it's uh, some. These are just going to move up to the edge. Plastic figures. <laughs> um, and then these chaps. So it's not the rear rank, unfortunately. Are you, well, if you, I use it now. Well, um, you have to. Yeah, yeah. You, if I use it now, I'm not going to get all of them in. You're not, no. Or am I? You're not. You weren't. The back rank wasn't, because I did check it. Okay, well if I'm not, then there's no point using it now because I want to try and get maximise the shots. So I'll use um, Illusio. What does that say? To charge uh, with no fatigue. Okay. Maximum number of figures can't be more than twice your prolium. And I'm going to charge your levy. All right, okay. Uh, and you get a fatigue there, don't you? No, it's fatigue free charge. Fatigue free charge, nice. Like that. Oh, this is got its comfort blanket again. Yeah, well, I've, I've got him out the comfort blanket. So you take it? Well, I had to. It cost me a man, but I had to get him out the comfort blanket because it was, he wasn't going to move. Okay, so you've got an armour of four because yes. you are javelin armed, but you get the plus one. So that's around the wrong way. So that's four, three. That's right, yeah. Um, yeah, you go first. So if I drop your armour to a two, I'm going to auto hit. You are. Can't argue with that. Okay. London is faultless mastery, which, uh, if you're the defender, gives you four defence dice and discard as many attack dice as half the number of you gain. So you lose two. I gain four. Is it worth it? Hmm. I'm going to pass. I'm going to use my combat bonus for another defence dice. No, I'll pass. No, I'll stay there. So, you've auto-hitted everyone. So, these are my saving rolls. Fives and sixes. So I've saved five. How many times did you hit me? Four, six, seven, eight, nine. So, Four die. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that right? Yep, four die. Five take away. Oh, yeah, yeah, from that. Yeah, four yeah. die. Yeah. So it's four. Back on you. Bit of luck is always nice. Three hits. I knew I should use defensive. Ugh. I knew I should have used defense. Oh. So I lost four. You were looking to uh, fatigue bomb me there, weren't you? Yeah, I was. I would have done that as well without that fortress mastery. I think it's about number of defense dice there. Uh, yeah. By not charging the last turn, you've had a stack board this turn. Yeah. So every cloud. Um, I'll use my javelin shot uh, for three shots at your half guard. Okay. Oh, I've got an armour of four, three dice did. Do you want to use my fatigue? Oh, that's true, yeah. Sorry. So it's just a question whether I sp spend the fatigue here. You shoot against my companions. Do you know what? I think I will. Spend your fatigue, pop me up to a five. Okay. Didn't need it. <laughs> I should have stayed with <laughs> fatigue on there. All right. But you don't get fatigue for that because that's a no. free shot. Um, so, position grab this one. They're just going to have to suck it up. Uh, I might have lost those, but shit happens. Right, so he's going to have to move down here with his um, determination. determination. And then here we obey them to move round. Yep. Um, right, we'll just do the... So end of turn three, because it's turn four now, we have to work out the massacre points. So a very quick update. Um, we've done the massacre points. I've got seven massacre points and Richard's got four. So it's my turn. Turn four. Five dice. I'm going to lift Slayers of Kings. So I've rolled, oh, too, too rare again. <laughs> so, <laughs> three common, one uncommon, one rare. You know no orders, no orders reaction. Um, he's gonna say, in you go, fellas. Got to not really. Yep. I have just got to. This time I'm going to remember to roll 12 dice instead of 8 like I've been doing for the last couple of games. <laughs> yeah. Idiot. Absolute plonker. Uh, you've got 6, haven't you? Yeah. I'm going to use Pride of Companions, your unit gains resilience. And I've got a rare. So removal fatigues if you use a removal. I remove them, it's kind of irrelevant really, because so I, re I remove them after the melee, but not at phase So basically eight. you've got three wounds and the fourth would kill you. Yes, at the moment. correct. Sort of a waste of time using Vinco, isn't it really? No, no, no. Because <laughs> all, all, all that's gonna do is just soak up the Vinco wounds. Uh, I will use defense all though, for um, four defense dice. That is nice, isn't it? Why wouldn't you? Exhaust them. Add plus one to your attack dice if you're fighting in the mount, which I'm not. So I just get plus one. Um, I'm going to pass. Okay. I'm going to use Faultless Mastery, which gives me four more dice on a rare, and you remove two. So two comes off you, and one, two, three, four goes on me there. Okay. Uh, some uh, I've got a rare. If that can't do it, I don't know what can. I think there's <laughs> a fair chance that's going to do it. I'm just going to say nothing. So I need three plus one. Ones and twos come out. Ooh, I don't know. 
You're going to re-roll that one? Because you did that earlier, didn't you? Should re-roll it. You went from I think they're gone, aren't they? Uh, even yeah. with six. Even with six. <laughs> even with six, they're gone, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll put them over here. Do they got broken friends? Uh, they will do in a minute. Shall I put it on now? Yeah, go on. So Three on me, needing fives. Uh, one. one. Can I suck it up? Sucked it up. But I do, I don't remove because I've got nothing to remove, but I do, get, I do get fatigue at the end of the melee. Oh, that's see. something we've been oh, playing. Right. That's what I was trying to say to you earlier, that I've been playing it slightly wrong. Warrior activation. These guys are gonna move and they go S plus S, don't they? Because they're not, sh sh they choose to shoot at the end. Correct? Uh, if you're Agrarians. If you're not shooting at the end, you can go S plus S, yes, that's right. One. Two. I've got fatigue. Do you wish to slow them down? No. Uh, I assume they're out of M. You never know, I might get one. Uh, I've got two. But, but, the fact that you went S plus S means you won't shoot. I thought if it was the last thing I do, I shot. It, I thought it said you get an extra bonus move. Uh, if you don't shoot at the end of your move. No, I thought you, you defer it to the end of your move. I'm fairly certain you get the S plus S if the last thing you do is you shot. It won't activate to shoot until... until. Oh, until the end of the turn. Exactly. Hmm. So it has to be the last thing they do. Well, so there's got... no real downside of going S plus S then, is it? No. <laughs> I've only got uh, two in range, which is one dice. You've got an armour of three. Do you want to... Spend anything? Uh, no, leave it on. Um, do I want a combat bonus? I'm only going to get one in anyway. I've got a fatigue. You can spend it if you want. It's not worth it. Leave it on. Nada. He's used his weir bay on these guys. Mm -hmm. To there. And part of the companions. I'm going to use seize the initiative, yep. activate two units. And if they're within them, the wall, or they don't get fatigue, which will be, they'll be one. They're going to go forward, S. Like and now I'm going to activate these because they're within M of my warlord. They don't get fatigue. I'm going to activate them to move. Do you wish to slow them down? I do. Cool. So in that case, I'm going to come backwards to there. Like that. Ooh. Uh, free poke. Mustn't forget the free poke with a Sarissa. So you've got an armor of four, but you're plus one because you're in terrain. Yeah, yeah. You've got a saving roll, so put close ranks down. I've got five dice. Have you got anything you want to spend or? Uh, not like can, no, no. Most needed. One. Saved it. Your turn four. Rare. There you Ooh, go. Oh, you, you got three commons, one rare. You stuck in with that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Wardle's going to move back over here. He's What's going on, is he? Well, he's, he's uh, repositioning. Ready to do their big shooting thing. Uh, he will then tell them to shoot these chaps over here. All in range. All in range. Because I very kindly moved them up. You got anything to pimp it with? Not at this point. Do you wish to play anything? What have you got that you can pimp it with? Vinci. Vinco or Domine to play something along that side if I wish. I'm going to spend imposing presence. So you discard three. Uh, pass. Pass. 
I've got tickets right. right. You've got tickets right. But that's it. it's an easy game to learn. And it doesn't, we can probably play twice. Saved it. Okay. I'm going to play Ardor. What does that say? Uh, let's me activate three units or, or number of units equal to a lesson I prolium to move or to fire. Go on then. Three, which three are you going to do? That one to fire. Obviously. That one to move. Well, you, don't, you just activate. You don't have to tell me, do you? No. Well, it's um, nice of you to do that, though. They, I mean, it, it, you can go up to, so they're quite happy where they are, to be honest. I'm not happy. So you're just going two? Okay. So which are we going to do first? Uh, we do the firing first. And you'll get fatigue. Do you get fatigue for this? This is, this is fatigue free. Oh. I'll pass. Okay. Three. Average. One. Warriors activated. Another okay. shot. Same, same one. Same shot. And same, get it. same target. Fatigue and after the shooting. Um, I will pass. So now I will spend two to play with it. Okay. Uh, so do I want to play? Probably not actually, because that won't push it through. So I'll pass. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Um, uh, four. Four plus two. Um, you have to have that many, but then you draw three cards. Save them. Yep. That's them again. So, so they'll get another fatigue after. One fatigue. Anything? Uh, I'm going to play Vinco, which does what? Two auto hits. Put them there. Two auto hits there. This time I'll spend the fatigue. Pop me up to a five. I'm going to play Domine to play Vinco for two more auto hits. Oh, nice. I have nothing. I am naked. Okay, so that's because gone, what, what but that might come on after. Say, yep. So these need five. Stay with Munich, and me and Dave have got basically all the rooms uh, in Munich. Two, two plus four, four. Plus the auto hits. This is the last roll of shooting, isn't it? Yes. So I lost one. You've done incredibly well there, really. I did incredibly um, well there. Graham? <laughs> Wish I did that the other week against Manchester Steve. So you should, you're down to eight? Yes. From God knows how many shots and auto hits. What I'd forgot to do was move those into there with their other parts of the R door. So, I mean, we're playing strict tournament rules, so if you don't want me to do it, I'm quite happy. Well, or should I roll I would a dice? charge. Uh, roll a dice, because that's what you did for me like, earlier, yeah. wasn't it? Four plus, I can do it. So you get it. <laughs> yes. okay. Promise, I'll take, the, I'll take the extra kill over there than there's a bat in there, really. But there you go. So they're just going to move in here as well. Nice. I've got to say, the amount of shots I stuck into that unit. It was amazing, wasn't it? For it to not. I mean. Uh, no res, mate. <laughs> He's shaking his head. <laughs> Three common, two uncommon. Uh, no orders, no orders reaction. So I'm going to activate my agrarians over here and they're going to shoot at the end of their turn. So they go S plus S. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they can't go S plus S in a charge. But it does mean because I'm now within charge range of you, I can charge you. With the agrarians, which does that? Do you need to be fatigue free for that to count? Good question. If the enemy has more fatigues when the unit starts a turn, you're in melee, you get free bonus. So you can charge them for free. But you yeah. won't get the free bonus attack on this. I'll still do it because yeah. it's still a free free move, isn't it? Because you told, as you told me earlier, the agrarians are worth jack shit. Well, they are at the moment. <laughs> We're in survival points and they're mercs. So. so in they go. If you take that one, we'll draw a card. I do get a second fatigue for that. 
it doesn't it, it does generate a fatigue doesn't it yes so I've got two it's free but it's not fatigue free yeah. it accrues towards fatigue um, I go first I'll spend your fatigue drop you down to a two I will spend your fatigue to put it back up to a three I can't do anything because I can't use the advanced abilities and then I will use your fatigue to put me up to a four so you've actually got the slight edge because you've got more dice but as you keep telling me my mercs are worth nothing and you've been rolling very well today <laughs> so. two plus one uh, well no I'm on four oh, plus sorry. one's a uni freeze yeah. so you put me, I went up to four so yeah plus one yeah. three plus one basically three missed four hits Three dead, it's not bad. Back on me. One and two's out. So six hits. Fives and sixes. Save two, lost four. But hopefully as you're I lost four, so I bounce. I can charge again. Yeah, stop stopping you going in again. Did you get a free, is it once or as charge as many times as you like? As many times as, as I like. Go in again if you like. It costs you another fatigue, but I suppose it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Well, it's going to put a fatigue on yours, more to the point. At the end of the melee, well, yeah, you're right. Exactly, so in they go again. Another fatigue on me. I'll, 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 um, I'll pass and see what you do. I'm going to use your fatigue to increase my armour to a four. I'm going to pass because I want you to have fatigue. I'm going to put my armour up to a five. That's it. So I need fours then. Three plus one. One. Got him. Doesn't look good for the, the fellas, does it? Have they done their job? So, four die. How many my unit? Uh, three. three. So, my unit comes off. Activate two units to move, and that's going to be the two phalanx units. Okay. Uh, and they're just going to trundle forward like that. Second rank time. I think the front rank is, but not the back rank. So it's two dice. Yeah, two isn't shots. It? Yeah. But I'll do that in a minute because obviously you've got to finish the moves first. These guys are going to move. This way. If it's survival, and round six is conquest. So you have to you have to score at three different points. So this is Graham's five. So at the end of his turn, we'll count what he's got left to see how many points he's got. I mean, he's winning anyway. So. Warlord's going to say to these guys, "Off you go," yeah. and they're going to move individually to there. We'll see. That's not. I think with 2M you'll be all right. Do you, you use the 2M? Yeah, there? yeah. You'll be fine. On that. One, two. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. War, uh, half guard activation. Let's get them over the over the line, shall we? Dipping. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have to, do you want to use the 2M on this? Because this is going to be quite difficult to get them out and around. Okay. So you might have to do each one separate. I'll do each one on an M, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They've got to be uh, straight lines as well. Yeah, right? that's it. Like that. One, two. Put him just there. Oh, we're not next to the half guard, actually. So, let's work out survival points. Oh, we have to do that now, don't we? We do it now at the end of your turn. Okay, well, I mean, we so, 
Uh, Rich rolled two rares and two common. One, eh? Uncommon. Two un uncommon. Two uncommon. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. He's going to tell them to rest. I'll play Warriors activation on them. Yeah, and what are they going to do? <laughs> they're going are to they going to move? <laughs> no, they're going to shoot you. They're going to shoot at my nearest unit, this yes, unit of eight. Okay. Okay. Uh, you've got a fatigue. Yep. I've got an armor of four. You got any shooty things to pimp up the shooting? You haven't, have you? Got our door left. I'll leave the fatigue on. Okay. Fours, fours. Fours needed. Ooh, you got one. You should see seen last time, Steve. I had three rounds of shooting, four auto hits, right? There must have been like 20 shots going in, I killed two guys. He's <laughs> saving like a demon. I'm going to have to play our door now. Our door? Which, so you activate three units. So which three will they be? Well, we can't say I've ever used it on the wall or before, but uh, one, two, three. Dice on them, just to show the yeah. One, two. Which one of the two? Uh, the uh, Dice of the day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll do the chaps with the uh, javelins first. Yep. Is that gone? <clears throat> okay. Now the interesting bits. Yes. Yeah, really Joe one. Montana. Well, he's going to get out, out of there. <laughs> he's going to get the points, isn't he? Yeah. I think I've got to move. Do you wish to slow me down? Uh, have you got any more activations with these guys? I you've got a Warlord activation. I've got a Warlord. And you've got no other activations. You've got Weir Bay as well, haven't you? Got Weir Bay as well. Which won't be them. Might be them. But you're going to be moving S. Yep. I'm going to slow you up to an S then. <laughs> Bugger. I'll tell you what. I can't, I can't stay back. I've got to go here. I can't reach you there anyway. Okay, so we've just had a quick total up on the uh, survival points. Um, End of turn five, I've got 21 from that turn, and Rich has got 17. So given a cumulative total, I've got 28 points to Rich's 21. So there's still only seven points in it. So it's close-ish. So my sixth turn, and I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four dice, only four. Yeah. Wow, what happened? Oh, my Mercs died, didn't they? Yeah. So that, that's, the, that's the line you got across to get into the conflict zone. So I've rolled a two common, one uncommon, one rare, and I think I'm not even gonna think about it because I think I'm gonna need, they're in, aren't they? They're in, yeah. The only, they're in. They're not. They're not. A warlord isn't. So I'm gonna go re-roll. Oh, another rare. And at that point, I stop. Right, my sixth turn. Orders. I have an orders. Intensive training. My Sarissa now has a range of M. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! I'm going to move these guys forward like this to there. I don't know why I'm bothering. Right. And I'm actually going to come back a little bit, M, because I don't need to be quite so near. No. Why do I want to be so near? So that was a Warriors activation, yeah? Yes, it was, yeah. And I'm going to poke you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many in my unit? Uh, two, four, six, three, seven. So it's four dice. Got anything? No. Well, sure, you go first. I'm going to use combat bonus for two more. Okay, I will use Domine to play Defensor 
for four defence dice. Lovely jubbly. Not much I can do about that, is there? Right, okay. Four defence dice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just the three. Yeah. So he's going to say to these guys, move up. And so make sure everybody's within S. Move up to S, they can. So they're going to move up to there. This is with Weir Bay, that's the end guy, which goes to there. Mm -hmm. Poke. And I've got uh, three, six, ten this time. Yeah, I'm touch those. Poke ability. I'm a free. Five dice. You got nothing, have you? No, not this time. Still rolled a couple, missed a couple. Killed one. Now I'm going to expect you seize the initiative, activate two units to move or charge within M of your Warlord. That doesn't generate a fatigue. You said the, co the companions are over the halfway line. So Mostly are. Do you want to double check them? Yeah, because it's... I think they are, aren't they? Most of them are. Yep. Yep. So we don't need to... No bickering about them. Um, so they're just going to go this way, like that, to there, just in case you decide to jump out the bundy. <laughs> you wouldn't do that, would you? Like uh, that. Not how I've been rolling dice today. So I might have tried it if I was uh, being lucky, but not today. Okay, my Warlord's uh, activation, yep. and he's going to go and stand over there. Put him beyond doubt. He's Hit him down, pop him there. And I think that's it. Okay. Uh, last turn. Roll your dice. Two. Ooh. Right. Final okay. turn of the game. Uh, no orders. No orders. Reaction. What are you going to do to me? I feel I'm in trouble. You got me worried, Rich. Grasping straws here, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to use his determination. Determination to move. M. M. Yep. He's then going to charge your half guards using what? Illusio. What does it say? Activate unit to charge, which generates no fatigue. The number of figures in this unit can't be more than twice your prodium. When you, you have a presence, which is four, so you're fine. In they go. So I've got 12 dice. You've got eight dice. What are you going to do? I'm going to play Fortis. What does it say? It says, gain attack or defense dice equal to your prolim. Your opponent must discard as many dice as you gained of that type. So I'll take three of yours and you lose three. So basically it's like that. Yeah. Okay, I pass. I'm going to use Dominate to say that again, so I have three more of yours. Ouch. I still pass, I have nothing, as you uh, know. I pass as well. Okay, so you need fives. Not, <laughs> not very good. Just the three. Two dead. Back on you. Hitting fives. One. Oh, what was that? Was it worth it? Sorry. You saved it. Um, you're going to go back anyway. You, you haven't got any more charges, have you? Oh, uh, yeah. Still got a half guard activation. Uh, okay, but you want to move away. It's got our door to do that. So I'm going to go. 
let's see if we can drag you towards the woods then, mate. <laughs> yeah. Do you really want to go to the other side of the woods? Like that. We both get fatigue. Um, you're well around the corner there. <laughs> you're not going to get home if you go around there. <laughs> I'm afraid to say. I will activate our door, which will be that unit, him and them. Okay. So they're going to run for the end zone. No arguing about that. Yeah, are they over the halfway line? Just out of interest. I don't think they all they are, are they? It's um, L plus M. Let's have a look. Right. Just. I won't bicker that one. <laughs> Just is all you need. <laughs> uh, they chaps will run round. Around here. Just throw their javelins. Yeah, just. Uh, do you get massacre points or? No, just because you can do it. Just because just why not? <laughs> oh, it's a bit gratuitous. So you've got nine. Five shots. Five shots, needing threes. You've got no fatigue. No. God, then I roll hot that. Oh, hot when, I, when I don't actually need it. Hot diggity. Uh, it was impressive though. Oh, what oh, that. Do you know you've just wiped the unit? <laughs> yeah. They're wow. gone. No friends with Inesta, unfortunately. No. Uh, do you wish to slow the wall or down? How many more activations has he got? Are you moving or are you charging? I'm moving. This is a fatigue free move, but he's obviously got a fatigue, so you can slow him down if you wish. Oh, we see. And have you got any other moves after this? Yes. You're moving, not charging. Moving, not charging. Moving. Moving. I have to, I can't charge with our. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, we see. Now, uh, leave the fatigue on there. Leave the fatigue Okay, as long as I'm over the centre line. Uh, he's just literally good. Can I borrow your L? Of course you can. Thank you. Literally just going to move that side. So there. Um, <laughs> he's then going to tell them to shoot at okay. your 10, 10 stack. That's uh, one, two, three, four shots. Four shots, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use imposing presence, discard three. It'll be one shot. <laughs> Wait! And he hit. He died. <laughs> Just desserts, one. Uh, right, I've got one half guard activation left. Okay. I mean, if I charge, I'm outside. So, I mean, he's generating conquest points. But if I charge in, I could be taking conquest points off you. <laughs> Since the question is, what's going to give me the most? I mean, am I realistically going to kill? Or, more critically, if I'm already up, I'm just going to slow him and cancel the charge. And that'll be the end of that. Yes, exactly. It's not worth risking a wardle, so I'll take the points. Okay. I will call it there. So we'll have a quick total up and we'll get right back. No, right. Okay, so we did a quick total up and Rich actually did better on conquest points than I did. Um, his experience showed through picking off all the bigger units and he scored 13 points to my 11. Uh, I, but overall, I scored 38 points and Rich scored uh, 34. Um, we're playing Braun Melly rules, so you need to score three or more to win. So I just about scratched through. <laughs> I, I, I'm not quite sure how that happened. So, um, yeah, so um, first of all, thoughts on the scenario. What, going first is a real pain, and you just got to sit in your hands, haven't you? I think you've almost sacrificed, you're almost playing five turns, not six, by going first, because with that three dice, you're not really doing much. So that, that's not good. Um, second thing, the mindset. So when you go from massacre points to survival points, I, I always get my head around trying to, I always think that they're, they're the same, but they're not, are they? Because um, there's different values on warlords, different values on mercs. Mercs, if you kill mercs in massacre, it's worth good, but survival on mercs is, is half points, isn't it? Yeah, yeah no, if you, 
basically, if you take a mercenary, you, you use it in the first three turns to do as much damage as possible, and then if it dies, turns four and five, you've not actually well, you're not what, given what, much away. What I, what I did over there, well, yeah. was that worth it? I think it was. I think so. I think so. I lost the dice. I lost the saga dice. But, four, four yeah. but I mean, they, they took out, what, nine levy, come round, and then put a couple of fatigues on the bigger unit. Yeah, and the money, didn't they? I mean, probably... They haven't, they, they haven't done badly, have they? And it, means that, it meant that, that by them doing well, you weren't losing points on, on these two units, which actually, at the end of the day, generated you mm. So I, I think they work well, yeah. Um, okay, key things with this is, obviously, with the conquest points, which actually was kind of a tipping point a little bit, is um, you can earn an awful lot more conquest points than you realise through massacre and survival. So if you're going with small units, you're small not going to... units isn't the way to go. It, it, with that third and final sort of um, scenario condition in, in mind is not good. Also, um, armies with levy, um, again, they're worth half points on conquest, aren't they? And how many, you had one and a half points of levy there, didn't this you? Is, this really isn't a scenario for Byzantines. <laughs> I was like, just thinking it's, that. It's possibly the worst army to take in this oh, one. Fantastic, I must play someone with Byzantines. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, to be honest, even pagan peoples aren't necessarily great because they've got lots of units, but they're small units. Yeah. Um, so unless you're going to be doing the damage in the first three turns, you're not really be gaining, going to be gaining much in the, la in the final three. So you're, you're basically shortened the game. To so what's the optimum, optimum faction for this, uh, this scenario then, do you think? I, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, I've... I've seen shooty factions do better at this one. Than seen what, sorry? Ones. Shooty factions do better. Because obviously, if you had shooty warriors, you could just hunker down in, in the cover, basically. Shoot. Had, shoot, 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 and massacre points. And you basically haven't lost any men. Yeah, yeah. And then when it comes to survival points, you've got a load because you haven't lost any. But, yes, and then, that's then you basically rush to the end zone. But it's kind end. of Clash of Warlords, isn't it? Shooty factions are, are better in Clash of Warlords, aren't they? Yeah. But it's, it's, a, it's a variant on that, isn't it? I mean, it's basically three mini games in one. Yeah, you've yeah. got one to three, four to five, and then turn six. Yeah, I mean, turn six doesn't really, you're not going to do much other than just rushing into the other half of the table, aren't you? Okay, I've got to ask, what do you think of the Macedonians? I, I, well, to be honest, I like them. Um, I think they're a little bit weak on shooting defence. I've been saying that. I mean, the amount of shot, shot of this one. Let, you've got to let it go a little bit, Yeah, Rich. you have, you have. <laughs> but, um, I think they've only got the one ability, haven't they? Imposing presence. Well, that's all, I, that's all I've got, um, and I was... And, I, and then I was for combat bonus. An awful lot of damage. I mean, how you've got it set up there, what you've got four units, what do you shooting, plus yeah. you've got a, a tough melee unit and a general. It's not a bad list. Um, I say, this is not a bad scenario for that either. No. I think. I, I think the bigger units, as you say, suit me a little bit. In this scenario, definitely. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very yes. much. Thank you for your experience, and I look forward to the next one. Yeah, I'll get you next time. You will. <laughs> Okay, point of note, here's the uh, conquest points, and they are slightly different from the survival and massacre, so it's well worth looking at those and considering the size of your units before you actually play the game, because these become key. I recheck the points later, and one thing I discovered is I can't add up. <laughs> and I actually scored more points than I actually declared in the post-game summary of Rich, so I really don't help myself sometimes. My humble opinion, and it is humble, um, I do think there's a big advantage going second. Um, first person, as we said before, only gets three dice, so he's limited in what he can do turn one. Also, um, the second player in turn six can decide whether to attack or just charge over the line, and he can do that virtually unmolested, and that is a big advantage, in my opinion. As I'm discovering with all the other scenarios, if you are going to play in any tournament and this is there, you really need to practice this one and work out all the different things that possibly could happen. Continue to make mistakes. The agrarians early in the game, uh, freeze should have saved because they're in terrain and I, I'd lost a figure. Also, when they charge for free and again, I was paying dice to do that, which is just silly, really. With my um, Sarissa, when they get the extended poke up to M, they get two bonus attack dice, and I missed that twice, which was, again, annoying. A big one for me was uh, my turn two or three when I wanted to charge my half guard against his, and I messed up the dice placement, and I didn't have a, an activation. And I could have moved one from uh, the combat bonus onto it. I did ask Richard if I could do that, and he let me roll a dice, which I failed. But in a tournament, you can't, once you've touched your things like chess, you, you can't change what you have on the board. And that's, I guess, is the difference between club play and tournament play, which 
possibly I struggle with a little bit, if I'm being completely honest. Please like, subscribe, share with like-minded, take care, and I'll see you all on Scenario 5.